I wanted to film the short intro for you. Um, essentially, I just had a group call with all of our clients and inside of there, one of the oldest one of the first students I've ever mentored and helped with their agency, his name is Olaf. He's 17 years old and he has an agency that makes $15,000 per month. And inside our group call, uh, which is in our private community, he basically shared the entire story of the struggles he faced at the beginning as an entrepreneur, especially as a young entrepreneur, and what he had to go through and how much time it actually took for him to see some glimpse of success with his business. Because I think it's very easy to get lost in this online Wi-Fi money and feel like you're missing out, that you're you're not moving as fast as you should be. When in reality, you're probably more, a lot more advanced than you actually think you are. So anyways, I wanted to share this perspective, this story from someone who started from step zero all the way to now having a very successful online business, what he had to go, go through to see that level of success and how you can essentially learn from his mistakes and understand, have a better understanding of what this journey is supposed to look like. Otherwise, Olaf, if you want to give us a quick update on sort of what you've been doing. Uh, for those that don't know Olaf, he's been with me uh, for almost a year now. I uh, started off, well, he can give the story, but he basically started off uh, from the ground up and I think now he's doing pretty well. So the floor yeah, is yours. So man. basically, I started like almost a year ago, right? And I'm now at 10K, probably closing down to 15K this end of the month, 15K cash collected. Crazy. But just to put it in perspective, it took me a fucking year <laughs> to get to 15K. And I never quit, guys. But I was close. I was close. So never, ever quit. Trust me. The The thoughts that you have that you want to quit, that this sucks, I've had all those thoughts. I didn't think it was possible until I made it. So basically, I started off doing cold calling for paving companies. And I moved to uh, Singapore, so I didn't have any friends. So that was all that I was doing. I switched niche when I started talking to Kyle. Dumb decision. Don't switch niche. But yeah, I got into um, another niche, like water damage restoration, got a couple of clients on uh, performance mainly. But then I went home to Sweden again, and uh, I didn't see much result from the agency. I fucked up service delivery, so I lost all my clients, but I didn't quit. So I continued to look for outreach methods that had more leverage to it. Rather than cold calling, I know it's good, but you get really, really like burned out and stuff from it. Um, so I found something called SMS Blast, um, and uh, that worked out really, really good for me. So we're sending around 700 SMS per day nice. um, in the clinic space, by the way. If you do SMS Blast in co like contractor niches where you can do cold call, you can get really, really good results. I can send you guys a like guide or a snapshot that I used, but I was booking like two to three meetings per day in the clinic space. Mm -hmm. um, and in the clinic space, just to let you know, there is most people have our most companies have like gatekeepers and stuff. So if you do this in like home improvement or something, and um, I think that you can get rid of the good results. But yeah, I shoes uh, went into another niche again, which was med spa. Why? Because I don't really know. To be honest, I don't really know. I wanted to get into a proven niche mm -hmm. that I know like they, they have money and stuff. So I went into MedSpa, but then I found a sub niche in MedSpa because they they do like 20 different services, right? So I found something called semi-glutide, which is basically Ozempic. It's a medical weight loss for women. And in US, a lot of people have um, weight problems. So... It's a really, really hot market. And mm -hmm. the best thing with semaglutide and the sub-niche medical weight loss that I'm in is that they have telemedicine. So they can ship the medications to the patient, which means that I can advertise in the entire state or um, country, which drives my cost per appointment down like 10 times. My mm -hmm. cost per appointment is 15 to $20. Nice. Um, so I did that and um, yeah, I started off doing like small retainers, 500 to 1,000 because my plan was to do small retainers with SMS Blast and then take all my money invested into paid ads. And that's basically what I did. Started paid ads. Um, 
I learned it myself. Guys, don't do it. I lost money in the beginning. Sign up with Oliver instead. They know what they're doing, so I would do that instead. But yeah, I learned it the hard way. Um, my offer, instead of doing like 20 appointments, 20 prepaid, I do 350 guaranteed appointments in 90 days. So that's my offer. When someone see like 350 appointments, they're used to see like 20, 25. Mm-hmm. Um, but I require hundred day, hundred dollars per day in ad spend, and I charge them three k. I will soon upper my price again. But the good thing with this niche as well, I am moving, looking into doing like an offer that is similar to Oliver. Like I will do the closing for them as well, having it closer in the business because everything is virtually. They don't need to come into a clinic or do a quote or something like that. So that mm-hmm. I'm looking into doing as well so yeah that's pretty much it but it took a really really long time um i wasn't lucky at all kyle you know i was struggling a fuck ton so guys never never ever ever gave up i i don't care your excuse like i dropped out of school when i earned zero dollars that's the reality so never ever give up yeah how old are you now again you're like 17 18? Yeah, I turned 17 like uh, a month ago. Crazy. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> so 15K a month at 17 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Very impressive, bro. Cool. Yeah. Um, I think what's good is that you found sort of your method. You know, we teach co calling, co DMs, and everything. But at the end of the day, every person is different. Every person has their own sort of approaches. So, you use what we teach you, and then from there, you sort of adjust and adapt until it works for you. Okay, so don't be afraid that just because Kyle says something or even me, if I say something to you, it does not mean that is the only way you can succeed. Okay, be open to exploring and just playing around with things. SMS Blast is very good. I've never done it for myself. Um, is it expensive to to operate? Yeah, yeah um, I, want to, I want to give value to everyone. I mean, I have no problem. I will share my uh, Snapchat and everything. No problem. But cool. guys... Keep in mind, change up the script because if everyone starts to use the same script, it will get saturated like mm-hmm. in the same day. Mm-hmm. But don't go on YouTube and search like SMS Blast because all of those are saturated. Trust me. I, I've tried every single one of them. 